The equation governing the buckling load P of a strut with one end fixed and the other end simply supported is given by tan mu L equals mu L, where mu is equal to root P over EI. L is the length of the strut and EI is the flexural rigidity of the strut. So for safe to sign, it is important that the load applied to the strut is less than the lowest buckling load. So we see that our equation tan mu L equals mu L has the form tan of x equals x. So we are going to solve this equation for x. Let's first consider an approximate solution. So let's look at the graphs of tan x and y equals x. Well, y equals x is straightforward. That's a straight line through the origin. It makes an angle of 45 degrees actually with the positive x-axis. Now, the function tan of x has vertical asymptotes at um, pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. Now, from the graph, we can see that y equals x cuts t y equals tan of x at 0. Well, we're not interested in that solution. We're interested in this solution here. The x value of this point here is less than 3 pi over 2, or less than 4.7. We can't use 4.7, we can't use 3 pi over 2 as a first approximation because tan of x is not even defined at 3 pi over 2. So we take a value less than 3 pi over 2, say 4.5. Now, for the newton raphson method, we need a function um, of the form f of x equals 0. So remember, we're solving the equation tan of x equals x, but we can rewrite that as tan of x minus x equals 0. So solving tan of x equals x is equivalent to solving the equation tan of x minus x equals 0. So tan of x minus x is our f of x. And the first approximation um, for a root of this equation is going to be x0, which is 4.5. Now for the newton raphson method, we need the derivative of the function. So we need to differentiate tan of x minus x. So the derivative of tan x is sec squared x. The derivative of minus x is minus 1. And uh, using identities, that can be written as tan squared x. So here's the newton raphson formula. x of n plus 1 equals x of n minus f of x n, which is what's on top. That's just f of x with x replaced by x sub n. And underneath we have f prime of x n, which is going to be tan squared of x n. So that's the general formula. Now x naught is 4.5, so if we let n equals naught, uh, we plug 4.5 into the right hand side. So we get all of this here. And uh, we will then get out x naught plus 1, or x1 which is 4.493614. We can take this value that we got out, which is x1, plug it into the newton raphson formula with n equal to 1, so it goes into the right-hand side, and we get out x2. So we get this here, 4.493410. So we can see that to three decimal places, or four significant figures, we get 4.493. The first three decimal places don't change when we... Um, do this next, the second iteration here. So we expect that to continue. If we do further iterations, we will get 4.493 um, for the values that we get out. So 4.493 is the value of x, correct to three decimal places or four significant figures. So now if we go back to the equation um, for the buckling load, tan mu l equals mu l. So x was equal to mu l. Uh, our root p over ei times l. So that's our x, and we got our value for x, and we can rearrange that to get p, make p the subject of this. So p is the smallest buckling load that we require.